Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the uh, math instructions within the Omron CP1H PLC. And Omron splits it up into several different uh, functions or, or groups of its math instructions. And the first one being increment and decrement. And here's my chart up here. And we can see we can increment and decrement in binary or BCD. It can be a single word, 16 bits, or a double word, 32. So let's look at an example. The first one will be an increment BCD. What we're going to do is turn on this bit. It will increment data memory zero. And then if it if the value is above 9,999, it will turn on the carry flag. The carry flag will then increment the next channel. So let's just take a look. We'll set that on. And sure enough, that's exactly what happens. Data memory zero turns to zero, and data memory one goes to one. And I'll set that off. And we'll go to the next one, which is decrement. And decrement is basically the same thing. Once we get under zero, so it goes to 9,999, it will set the carry flag, and the carry flag then will um, decrement the data memory one here, which now contains the value one. So we'll set that on. And that's exactly what happens. You see our data memory zero now becomes 9,999. The carry flag was set, so that decrement. So what we did was just create a um, addition and subtraction within um, the Omron PLC using two words, data memory one and zero. So um, we could actually expand that and have quite a large word. The next one, uh, we'll just turn it off first. The next series of instructions that Omron has is the um, what's called the symbol math instructions. In the symbol math instructions, I'll just blow this up a little bit here. And what we have is we have um, signed data and unsigned data, basically meaning that's negative numbers now. We have binary and we have BCD. We have um, double and we have uh, single. So 32-bit or 16-bit. Uh, words that we're doing it and sometimes we have carries involved sometimes we do not have carries so let's look at a couple of examples here uh, the first one being our BCD math add and this is add without carry and what we're going to do is take data memory 2 which contains the value 9999 we're going to add 1 and we're going to store it at the same location data memory 2 if the carry flag is on what we're going to do is we're going to add with carry so we're going to take data memory 3, we're going to add 0, and we're going to store it at data memory 3. So in our case here, once this goes past 9999, the carry flag set. Because we're going to add the carry, data memory 3 then should go to 1. So let's uh, turn that on. We'll set that. There we go. And sure enough, that's exactly what happens. You'll see that uh, data memory 2 now um, contains the value 0. The carry flag was set, so that means the data memory 3 has the value of 1 because it added the carry with that. So let's set that off. And we'll go to the subtraction with carry. So the subtraction with carry, um, once again, we're going to subtract 1 from data memory 2 and store it at data memory 2. Then we're going to take data memory 3, um, BCD subtract with carry. And what we're going to do is um, subtract the carry on that number and then store it at data memory 3. So in this case here, what should happen is once I energize this, this number should go back to 9,999 and data memory 3 should go back to 0. We'll set that on. And that's exactly what happened. You see data memory 2 is at uh, 9,999 and data memory 3 is now the value zero. So let's set that off. The next instruction is our multiply and our multiply will just multiply two different numbers together. In our case here data memory four and five and we're going to store the result in data memory six. So let's set that on and what we get is the value of 72 which is exactly what we expected nine times eight 72. The next one is divide we're going to divide that result, data memory 6, which is 72. We're going to divide by the number 8, and we're going to store it in uh, data memory 8. 
So what we're doing, expecting the value of 9 there. So we'll set that on. And sure enough, that's exactly what happens. So 72 divided by 8 is equal to 9. The next one is special math instructions. And these special math instructions will uh, basically will contain, um, you see our square root, our BCD square root. We have our arithmetic process, which is actually mapping uh, a curve in the PLC and actually following it. We have floating point divide and we have bit counters. And what we'll do is we'll look at a bit counter and our bit counter basically will tell you how many number of words you're dealing with. In this case here, we're only going to deal with one. It comes from data memory 9, and we're going to put the result in, in data memory 10. Now right now we don't have any uh, words or bits set in data memory 9. So let's uh, go down to data memory 9 here, and let's put the value of, we'll say the uh, number F. Okay, so now we have the number F which here represents four bits on. So we'll turn this on. And when we do, we get the value four. Now this four is actually in binary. So if we had all bits on, it would be one zero representing, representing 16 bits. Okay. So that is our special uh, math instruction. Now, the the next group of instructions is actually called uh, floating point. And floating point instructions provide a lot of uh, different uh, information. We can convert and we can uh, do some arithmetic operations on here. So you can see here that our conversion floating to 16 bit, floating to 32 bit, uh, etc. These are conversions. Then we have a floating point add, subtract, multiply, divide. We have degrees to radians, radians to degrees. We have sine. Uh, cosine, tangent, um, arc sine, arc cosine, arc tangent, square root, exponential, logarithmic, exponential power. So we have a lot of different functions that we can use within the Omron CP1H um, and the math instructions within it. And if we look at uh, some examples here, all I have up in my screen here is a simple adding. So there's my first word, there's my second word, and a lot of these symbols really, um, it's hard to un just understand or interpret them. So if there's a lot of online um, calculators that you can look at, so if we wanted to say a value of minus uh, 3.14, and we convert to binary, Okay, this is actually my floating point binary, and this is actually what it is. It's C048F5C3. So there's my value, um, my hex value, which represents the binary. Going back to my um, instruction here, you can see that's exactly what my first word here. So I'm actually adding minus 3.14 and 40E0 which is actually the value of 10. So we're adding those together and we get the result. Set that on. And it just calculates that for us. Now, if we go back to that website, you'll also see that we also have double um, floating point. And double floating point just adds a little more precision to our calculations. So we're doing things like maybe the speed of light or we want to calculate volumes or uh, odd shapes, geometric calculations, floating point is the way to go. So the Omron actually has a series of, uh, here's our regular floating point, now we have double floating point. Again, similar to the previous one, except for now we have double precision, so instead of 32 bits, okay, or two words. Now we have four words that we're added, actually adding and subtracting and using that value. And just to give you an example, if we have uh, minus 3.14 again and we convert on a double word, okay, this is actually what it converts to. So there's my digits, there's my four registers of 16 bits each that is at that three minus 3.14 represents 
So there's the most accurate representation. So this is used when we want very high precision. Okay. So another way to doing that, if we turn this bit on, and what we can do is actually double click on the actual value and actually write it right in. So you go up minus uh, 3.14 and it writes it right in. We can say we want the value of 20 here. We'll set that and then it automatically will calculate what our resultant word is. All right, so that's it for today. Um, if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information just like you have. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching.